Fair. Okay. Talk to us about the movie. Okay, the movie was great. The movie was great. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Black Panther tell, speaks about mm -hmm. black crime. Okay. We can we can we can work together. Um, there is a lot of opportunities. Um, we brought people from uh, from local 26, from the children. Mm -hmm. um, it's just fabulous. Um, there's great mentoring opportunity. A lot of a lot of conversations can happen because of this movie. Mm -hmm. And um, we hope you continue to support the program. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Julius Ware. Mm -hmm. My name is Julius Ware. Mm -hmm. I'm a big chair actually. Um, this is our fourth time that we've done this. Mm -hmm. we, we did um, Selma, I, I, I'm Not Your Negro, um, and then, then this one. Right. So we're, 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 we're fabulous. How many are you expecting today? 200. Outstanding. County Executive is going to address? County Executive is going to speak question and answer mm -hmm. program with the County Executive. And we're hoping to use this movie to go in different directions, to interest kids in STEM, um, to interest kids in um, uh, new fields, technologies, um, working together. Um, Are you going to join us in the discussion today? Yes, certainly am. Outstanding. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Chris. I need you to give us all your keys to the right here. Okay. No, it's not. I really need you to come right here because I'm going to bring you to the town. Exactly, but I need you to get out there. Oh, okay. Okay. You there? You see that? Did it go off? Okay. And you were able to hear him, okay? Okay. Okay. It was a very important too. Oh, Chris. Chris. Oh, We're live streaming right now. Oh, wow. Sure. Okay. Okay. You're right. Cool. Cool, cool. Right, we're right here. Okay. Well, it's curtain. Yeah, we in there. Hey, what's up, Rahu? I appreciate you, brother. Hey, we're here at uh, an establishment in Carolina Kitchens. We had a phenomenal shooting of the uh, Black Panther, which was an amazing movie. There are a lot of different things we learned from it in terms of the movie. We have over 100 mentees you can see here. We're streaming here live at Carolina Kitchens. And what we try to do is expose our youth to these types of situations. We have the county exec who's going to be here. We'll be saying a couple words later on to talk about the movie, the importance of power. And what's amazing about this project is that this successful movie has already generated $4 million, I repeat, $4 million overseas, which is quite amazing. It's breaking all kind of ticket sales. And you can see by the reaction of all the youth here, it was really a great, great production that more to come from Marvel. And I think what's going to happen is you're going to see more byproducts, more movies from this movie. Because it showed diversity, it showed power, change of power, it showed family, tradition. And that's what we try to teach here at the 100 Black Men of Prince George's County. Tell us a little bit more about 100 Black Men. 100 Black Men of Prince George's County, I had the honor to form this chapter in 2012. And what we do is we do financial literacy, health and wellness, education, and the core is the mentoring. And what we try to do is mentor boys, black boys, from 8 to 18 to make a difference in their life in terms of communications, understanding money, understanding their self-worth, presentation skills, and a lot of these of our, our mentees from 2012. So we try to make a difference in the county. You can go to www.100princegeorges.org. 
That's 100PrinceGeorges.org to get more information about our chapter. And this man right here, Mike Lanier, is our vice president. So Mike, say hi. Hello, hello. How are you? Mike Lanier has been a tremendous leader. Tell them about the event today and the significance of Black History. Black History is important. People that do not know their, their uh, history are bound to repeat it. Things like this, uh, Black Panther instills pride in, in, their, in their history and their culture. Gives them that spark to go out and open up a book, yes. open up a textbook, learn about science, physics, so that we can find the vibrating. The things that we don't know in the universe, are things that have yet to be discovered. And that's, that's what this is all about. Yeah, so Mike has been a great leader with our organization. And we're going to be here. We're going to have some nice food. We're going to debrief with the county exec. Talk about the semblance of power, diversity, exchange of power. And that's what we try to do with Prince George's County and 100 Black Women. Are the young men going to be speaking to the county exec directly? Are the kids going to talk? Yeah, we're going to probably have the kids actually formulate some questions. We actually have some questions on a sheet here. Here we go. On the sheet here, there's several questions. And, you know, it's talking about if you had total control of a natural resource that everybody wanted, what would you do with it to build bridges? Is that phenomenal? Sweet. Name the super natural food that can give you the best healthy strength and endurance. Another question is, if you were a renowned scientist, a professional athlete, or a STEAM teacher, entertainment, a wealthy person, what, who would that be and why? So with that discussion, that should create a lot of good discussion points with our youth uh, later today. You're going to be part of the discussion, right? Uh, yes, I should be. Looking forward to it. Yes. Thank Stay you. close to us. And thank you for what you do. Always. All right. Right. Who are you? We got two over here. I don't know where it's from. Anyway, somewhere. We're around. All right, enjoy your food, maybe we can talk about it. Who's right there, right there. Come and say a couple of words, 100 Black Men, what the movie is all about, why are you here today? First, introduce yourself. Hey, Musa Eubanks, a uh, mentor and founding member of 100 Black Men in Prince George's County. And uh, we're here for a screening and uh, a discussion around the Black Panther movie. Um, awesome movie. Um, love the kids seeing the image of a black person as a hero, not a black person as a victim. Um, and it's just great for these kids to experience something, you know, right in our own community. We're going to black owned theater, now we're going to a black owned restaurant, and it's just awesome kids to have this experience. Right. You brought your own son? I did, brought two of my sons, yes. Why is that? It's the same thing. I wanted them to see this. I wanted them to just experience, you know, everything that's positive right. in our community. And there's so much negative stuff you hear about from the media, right, right. and this is positive. Right. Black superhero, black restaurant, black people doing their own thing. Right. It's awesome. Did the movie live up to the hype? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm sure it's going to be number one in the box office for weeks to come. Mm -hmm. And it's, it was action packed. It had a message. Uh, there was even a little love thrown in there. So it's just great. Okay. Absolutely. Glad you enjoyed it, man. Glad All you're right. here. Thank you. All right. Hey, Jordan. How are you doing? Where do you want?
What did he say? Oh, Mr. Lennon? Mm -hmm. Oh, please come in. I mean, going through the whole thing. Is he going to retweet on that, that account? What did he say? He said that he went to see the cook for soul. Okay. That's his County. Instagram account. Yes. Sir. County exec. Okay. 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 Up, Got it's exact, thank you. It's always good. Baby, it's always good. Thank you for doing this and thank oh, you. Listen, no, this is great. Mr. Executive, we're live. Live streaming. Oh, okay. Facebook and the whole world. Oh, this is this is great. Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the movie for the first time today? Hey, this is the first time I've seen it. I'm so excited and uh, I'm gonna go see it again with my daughter. They they, they now this is so good they want to see it with me. Did it live up to the hype? Did it get what you was it what you thought it was? You know what? It was actually better than what I what I anticipated. I mean, the quality of the acting, the storyline was just really great. This and uh, about so five minutes from I was very, very, very about the movie, about five minutes The message. Did it hit? Yeah, I, I think it did. I mean, it had a couple of messages in there. One, um, I like the, the fact that... Um, you know, you talk about taking care of the community, and not just your own place, but the outside of the world. I think that's the message we try to send here in Prince George's County. It is not just taking care of what happens here in Prince George's County, but what happens throughout Maryland and throughout the nation. And that was part of it. And then um, not leaving anybody behind. Right. I thought it very poignant when he talked about the fact that, um, you know, the... the, the the uh, cousin was left in Oakland by himself. No one gave him any information about his dad, you know, and no one from his grandfather or anyone came back to help him. And then his cousin comes back and says, this is what happens when you leave, you know, children to raise themselves. Wow. You know, and... Um, you know, that's a good message for us that, you know, we need to go back there and if they had interceded in that child's life when he was a child, then maybe the things we saw later on would have happened. Exactly. You know, this movie has drawn a lot of attention across the planet. This isn't just an African-American community movie for whatever reasons. What do you think about that? Why do you think there's so much buy-in for this movie? Well, I, one I think is the quality of the film itself, the writing, and the fact that you find a movie that Hollywood actually put real, you know, dollars behind and made sure that it was that, and that's what you want. You want, you know, it, this could have been about anybody. It didn't have to be about, it could have been Africa or it could have been, you know, Asia, any place else. Just the storyline and the plot was such that it was, the quality was so good, and I think that's why going to be a blockbuster. Think it'll break 200 million this weekend? I hope so. I certainly hope so. I want it to because, you know, I, I, okay, I, want, I want people to show that, you know, the quality of, just think of mostly African-American, you know, cast, or mostly black cast. Right. A lot of, a lot of, uh, Folks love it there, uh, but, uh, but no, I hope it does, and it's great for us. I went to Howard University, so having the stars, <laughs> the black friends himself, you know, being from Howard is great. That's sweet. Last question. This isn't your first rodeo. You were with 100 Black Men a number of times to talk about movies after, uh, in a post-event post discussion. Why is that important for you to do? Well, one, let me give the 100 Black Men uh, just praise of Prince George's County. But since their beginning, they have done nothing but make sure they reach back to the community. And actually, one of the reasons I try to make uh, the film and I've made it for uh, the last four years is that they live up to exactly one of the issues raised in the movie. And that is they don't want any child, especially any uh, African-American male, at a young age to think they're on their own. Right. There are brothers and sisters all around that will help them grow up. So it's important for me to come here, talk to the young people, and they always give me good questions I can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. I'll try. Thank you so much. Uh, Enjoy the afternoon. Of course, Thank always. You. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And anybody with the well. information on the Black Man, we have a news flyer. We have a news flyer. Anybody patron for more information about the Hunter Black Man, appreciate your time. Change your mind. Hey. We have a newsletter here, right? Okay? So come see us. Let me know. Let us know. Let us know. All right, come on. We got Taz on the screen for County Exec. Come on up and have a couple questions. County Exec was nice enough to join us. Where's Tyron? Tyron, where are you? Come on up, Tyron. 
Come on. Come on. Come right here. Come right here. You're on the bus. On the bus. All right. Let's show it back. Give us one back. A round of applause, please. Come on up here, guys. Come on up here, guys. Come on up here. Come on up here. Come on, Mr. Baker. All right. So we are uh, with the hundred black men of Prince George's County. Give us a round of applause, please. <laughs> Uh, we, we had over 100 mentees and guests today. Isn't that amazing to see the Black Panther? So we try to make a difference. So we, we were lucky enough to have the county exec give him a round of applause, please. He's done a great job in the county. He's helped us out over the years. And we say God bless you. Thank you so much. All right. And we have Tyvon. Say hello. And Sincere. So they're going to ask the county exec a couple questions. Is that all right? About the movie. Give me easy questions, right? You're going to ask the easy questions. All right, time on. Time on, you go first. What question do you want to answer the county exec? Nice and loud. If you had to choose between Black Panther and you, can you explain that Black Lightning movie to help you and you? Well, Repeat the question. A hard one. Uh, but I like to use Black Panther, not, not because we just saw the movie, and not because you was one of my favorite characters when I was growing up. Um, because I thought the movie uh, talked about a lot what 100 Black Panther movies. And that is, if you saw in the movie, uh, the cousin who was left behind in Oakland, without a father, without support from the family, and you saw what happened when he grew up. And the idea around the black men is to make sure everyone understands we're all a family. And no one is missing out. And that way you can hear and come with a great man. And then at the end of the last story, one of the comes back and says, We're going to go to the world. Like, we can't keep our resources just for our knowledge. We want to spread that over there. That's what we try to do in the county. That's what one of the black men are doing for this time. Black men respond. Black men respond. Now, since here. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Nice and loud. Yeah. Nice and loud now, okay? I don't know if everybody heard the question. Uh, you get control of natural resources, like water. Um, would you hold it in your borders and not share with the world, um, or would you open it up? I think that's an appropriate question. They talked about it at the end of the movie when um, they went to the UN. They said, we're not building walls, we're building bridges. If you notice what's going on right now around the United States, we're talking about walls. We're shielding the natural resources we have in the United States and not sharing it. That's not what we would want to do here. So what we do in the county and what women of black men do is, I say this all the time, there are no walls between Prince George's County and the District of Columbia or Montgomery County or Northern Virginia or other parts. We're all together. We're going to work together until we would feel bridges. Great job. Well, let's go back to Tehran. I want to you another question, okay? You know nice and loud. All right. Nice and loud. Oh, <laughs> 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 and fruit, they give you that energy, but certainly, you know, those, those, those healthy foods you're going to eat right here. <laughs> All right, Sincere, you have one? You want to use one of these? You have your own. You have your own question? You want to that one? Come on. Is that too hard? You have another question about the movie? Okay, read that first. Uh, 59 year old return says, what I'm doing now, I really love my job, 
as a public official, it gives me a chance to serve. And that's the other thing. Um, I mean, this is just such a great movie uh, for the 100 black men to do because the men who have brought you here today are public servants. They serve the community, they serve you. Um, and as county executive, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to serve the community. And in the movie, when you, especially near the end, when you talk about going out uh, to, as king, he had to make a decision whether uh, just to serve at home or serve the nation. And he chose to serve the nation. So I would be what I am now. All right, give it a round of applause for the new thing. All right, thank you. You have another one? All right, yeah, one more, one more, one more. Which stops the job? Which stops Black Panther? Stop the Black Panther. What device? What mechanism? What device? Oh, you know what? I don't know. Can I get help? Can I get a, can I get a, a, a lifeline? What's your lifeline? Your name? It is my lifeline. What is the answer? Don't really like touch it. Your elbows are rubbing and you just started to start touching. Oh, the ring. Oh, the ring. Okay. All right. So let me just say this. I noticed that in the movie. You noticed that they both had a ring from their grandfather. Yes. It was passed down to them. So. What it reminds them of is their responsibility. One of the things that I talk about this when I, when I go around, the ring I have right here is my dad's. He's a green beret, so anytime I'm going out in public, I'll have this ring with me to remind me of the sacrifices that he made so that I could get the opportunity that I have. And that's one of the things about the movie of uh, your parents, the people in your life who made sacrifices will give you those momentum that you know that will hold that will carry you through. All right, we're gonna take a picture. Give a round of applause. That's not easy to talk about. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Baker, I have for, for, the, for my students up here, um, young people, what school did the star character go to? What college? <laughs> which, which college did he go to? Yeah, he was phenomenal with the movie, right? Wasn't he great? Yes, right over here, young lady. He, he went to where? Howard H U U. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this. And just a background on the Black Panther. Black Panther was the first mainstream comic book. Superhero created in 1966. Superman was created in 1931. The name has nothing to do with the Black Panther Party. It was created six months later. It's hard to ignore the relevance of civil rights and governance as we fully activate that time. So I just wanted to give you background on the Black Panther. More to come. By the way, there's been over four million dollars in gross sales, and it's one of the most successful Marvel productions of all time. Yes, Barry, coming up. And diversity works. You agree? Diversity always works. Don't you agree? All right. I, I, I just want to say um, a couple of things real quick before the county executive leaves. First thing I want to do is thank the 100 Black Men of Prince George's County once again for this event. This is the fourth year, the fourth year we've done this with you all. I remember the very first movie we saw, which was Selma, and it was a third of this group of people. Just like your chapter, just like the work of your chapter, it has grown. So on behalf of the County Executive's Office, we want to thank you very much for having us here for the fourth year. We want to thank you for being a jewel in this county. And we want to thank you on behalf of the 100 Black Men of America for making a tremendous impact in Prince George's County.
All right, guys. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, have a good picture.